BoxingBoys.com live here with light heavyweight Trevor McCombie. Trevor, you had an impressive performance tonight. It's kind of like last, last time on the Iron Boy show, both me and you did the commentary for it. So take a step back as a fighter. Think of yourself as a commentator. How would you, how would you rate your performance tonight, and what would you have said? Uh, I'd give my performance uh, about an 8 out of 10. Um, it was a good step up for me, and my, my team, my promoter, everybody has done a real, real you know, good job. It's the right. It's a step in the next, you know, the right direction. And um, he was he was a tough guy, a uh, Colombian, real real strong. And uh, I thought I did a good job. I, I hit him real clean on the chin. Uh, I think first second round, and I saw it. It didn't do too much, so I started working the body a little bit and broke him down from there. It seemed like you did have a little bit of a game plan. As soon as you started landing that right to the body, it kind of changed. We was that your game plan to go into this to slow him down to the body because he's been in there with heavy punchers before he's very experienced like you brought up he's been in there with Golovkin, Mora, Daniel Jakes, other fighters like that so did you know coming into this fight that he would be difficult and you well I guess essentially what I'm getting into is what was your game plan and how did it play out? Uh, I saw on uh, I'm not really a huge fan of looking at tape because guys don't fight the same as they do you know with other guys Styles make fights um, but I, I wanted to watch his right hand. I knew his, he had a he had a decent right hand, and it came from a weird angle. So I wanted to look for that. Um, also, I wanted to work the body. The first round, I didn't do too much of that, and I kind of had to make that adjustment going into the second, third, you know, the the rest of the rounds. Well, also, let's, let's speak a little bit about your trainers here. You've been bouncing back and forth between Robert Garcia and the Busted Knuckles Gym here out in Phoenix, Arizona. A lot of people feel that you know one, it's one trainer, but you've had a couple of trainers, and do you feel that that is beneficial to you because you get to see different points of views? I guess what is your assessment of your trainer situation? Uh, I kind of consider of it, you know, more of a team. I think that Alan Vires, Wayne, the the Vire, the Vires brothers make a great team with Robert Garcia. I think Robert Garcia brings in experience, and they bring in a lot of good insight. Um, and we work really, really well together and have a great relationship. So I consider us a real great team, and together we can make it all the way to the top. Now, at the light heavyweight division, there's a lot of there's a lot of different sides. You have, you know, Sergey Kovalev, who's over with main events. Then you have, you know, Donna Stevenson with uh, Al Heyman, Bernard Hopkins with Golden Boy. You're primarily right now the, the flagship fighter for top rank. When you have such a big promotional backing, is it a drive for you knowing that someone believes in you so deeply? I guess, what is your feelings when it comes to top rank as a promotional banner, and how do you feel that they've been treating you throughout your career 19-0 now? Uh, they've been doing a great job, and I'm I'm so so appreciative to even get the shot to, to fight for Top Rank. That's it's been a dream of mine since I was a young kid, man. I had a you know HBO Boxing After Dark themed room, you know with you know Top Rank stuff all over the place. So it's a dream come true. I think they're doing a great job. Uh, I'm still a young kid, you know. A lot of these guys are in their you know mid to late twenties. I'm in my early twenties, so I still have a while to go. Um, I, I mean, I, I still think I have the skills to beat any of, the, any of these guys in super middleweight or light heavyweight. Um, I, I might be trying to make the drop to super middle. I weighed in at like 171 this time. So we'll see. So I talked to a few people backstage that would be in the know about you. They said next year you're going to be on HBO. Any, anyway, they're trying to set that up. Mm -hmm. Now, like you said, it was your dream before. Is there any sort of added pressure knowing that you're coming from, you know, Unimas cards, going to HBO? Is it more of excitement for you or is it more, do you feel more pressure on you now that you know you're going to be kind of thrust into the mainstream? What's, what's great about being on, you know, Solo Boxeo and, uh, you know, Fox Sports, a few other, few other ones, um, it's, it's good TV exposure and it's good experience. And with that experience comes, for me anyway, I become a lot more calm and that stuff really doesn't matter to me anymore. I mean, once, you, once you've seen the cameras around you, that's, it, it turns it into, into a normality. So for me, it's not a, it's not a huge step up. Obviously, obviously it is being on HBO. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes and I, I know I'm ready for it. So. Now, with the boxing landscape, there's always one side of the pond or the other. There's actually someone on your side of the pond that I believe is on the top-ranked banner, Jesse Hart. He's around the same record as you. What do you view about? What do you think about Jesse Hart? And would you prefer? Would you actually want to fight Jesse Hart? I guess on HBO as your first debut there. He's a great fighter. Uh, I think I, I watched him uh, in the amateurs a little bit. I think I was when I was in the in the under 19. I think he was because he's he's a little bit older than me. Um, real good fighter. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's always the potential to make a fight, you know, with him, with uh, with anybody. There's tons of fights out there, man. There's light heavyweight and super middleweight is hot right now, so we can make some great fights. So, thanks a lot for your time, brother, and I'll let you get back to All your right, work. Thank you. Thank you.